I heard a hadith saying that in the end, it is not our good deeds that will take us to Jannah, but Allah's mercy. Even though it is mentioned several times in the glorious Quran, those who believe and do righteous deeds will enter Jannah. Is it so? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran regarding Iman and Amal al-Salihat إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Iman along with righteous deeds it is mentioned in the glorious Quran no less than 50 times in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 25 in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 82 in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 277 in Surah Al-Imran chapter number 3 verse number 57 in Surah Al-Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 57 no less than 50 times Iman along with Amal al-Salihat that is mentioned and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Al-Kahf chapter number 18 verse number 107 إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ كَانَتْ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتُ الْفِرْدَوْسِ نُزُلَ That those who believe and do righteous deeds, they are aboard, it will be Jannat al-Firdaus. So the two important criteria for a person to enter Jannah, for a person to be successful, for a person to enter Jannah, he needs to have Iman and he needs to do righteous deeds, that is good deeds. The first and the foremost thing is Iman, which is the fundamental and the basis of Islam. A person, he may do several good deeds, several righteous deeds, but if he does not have Iman, all of his good deeds are useless. So Iman and as well as doing righteous deeds, doing good deeds is very important. And the criteria to enter Jannah, it is mentioned in the glorious Quran, Surah Al-Asr. Chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3. Wal asr, by time, in al insan ala fi khusr, verily man is in a state of loss. Illa ladina amanu, except for those who believe. Wa amilu salihat, and do righteous deeds. Wa tawa sobil haq, exhort people towards truth that is doing dawa. Wa tawa sobil sabr, exhort people towards patience and perseverance. Minimum four criteria are required for a person to enter Jannah. The first is Iman. The second is Amal al-Salihat, that is righteous deeds. The third is Watawasab al-Haq, exhorting people towards truth, that is doing da'wah. And the fourth is Watawasab al-Sabr, exhorting people towards patience and perseverance. So these are four criteria for a person to enter Jannah. And in this verse of Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 3, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has stressed upon two important deeds among the various righteous deeds. These are not the most important deeds, but these are two very important deeds. That is exhorting people towards truth, that is doing da'wah, and exhorting people towards patience and perseverance. So these are the four criteria for a person to enter Jannah. And also for a person to enter Jannah, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is a must. It is very important. Without the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no person, no believer will enter Jannah. So the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also it is very important. So we have need to have Iman and we need to do righteous deeds. We need to do good deeds. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, it is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari, volume number 7, hadith number 5673, that no one will enter Jannah only because of his good deeds. So the Sahaba, they asked our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, even you, O Prophet of Allah. So our beloved Prophet Muhammad, so our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, he said, even me, unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wraps me in his mercy, unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he forgives me. So even our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he will enter Jannah, because of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each and every believer will enter Jannah because of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So besides having Iman and doing righteous deeds, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is a requirement, it is a must for a person to enter Jannah. Because we human beings, we tend to commit errors, we tend to commit mistakes, we commit sins. And many times we do not realize it. 
and our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that every son of Adam he errs, he commits mistake but the best of them are those who repent those who ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that reminds me of an incident that is mentioned in the hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad may peace and blessings be upon him wherein a person he will come on the day of judgment and he will have huge heaps of good deeds of righteous deeds and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him before admitting him into Jannah that do you want to enter Jannah because of your good deeds or because of my mercy? So this person he will think and then he will respond and he will reply to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will say I want, to enter, uh, I want to enter Jannah because of my good deeds. My good deeds are a lot. They are huge heaps of good deeds. I want to enter Jannah because of my good deeds. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show him each and every sin that he committed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put it on the scale of evil deeds. And then his evil deeds will be more than his good deeds. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him that do you want to enter Jannah because of your good deeds or because of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he will realize that it is due to the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that a person will be admitted into Jannah and including our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him even he will enter into Jannah because of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he admit us into the gardens of paradise into Jannatul Firdaus Allahumma Ameen and also we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he have mercy on us and may he forgive our sins Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is of forgiving he is most merciful and this is mentioned in the glorious Quran in several places وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا and Allah is of forgiving most merciful in several places in the glorious Quran so a believer should never despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and inshallah we hope and we should always have hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will have mercy on us and he will admit us into the gardens of paradise into Jannah. So I hope that answers your question.